logo animations can really help you create a brand for yourself. But what most video editors forget is that they need to keep it simple, but just engaging and recognizable enough to get the most out of it. You're about to learn exactly how to create a Title 2 logo animation in Premiere Pro. First, you want to create some text. Grab the text tool in the toolbar and go to the program monitor. Then in here, type in whatever you want. Now to customize the text a little, open up the essential graphics panel. In here, you can choose a font. I'm using Myriad Pro for this one. You can then scale and position your text like this. Whatever fits for you. Next, find the VR Rotate Sphere effect and drag it on the text layer. Also, look for the transform effect and also apply it to your clip. Head over to the effect controls and move the play at a little bit further in time. Then set a scale, rotation, tilt and roll keyframe. Now move 20 frames back in time and set the scale to 0.1. Don't put in 0, otherwise Premiere will do this stupid scale glitch. Then put the rotation to 75, the tilt property to 78 and the roll to 65. You don't have to copy my values if you don't want, you can perfectly play around with it. Now to make the animation super smooth, expand the velocity curves of all our animations. Then for the scale, rotation and roll property, pull the lever of the second keyframe to each ease the animation in. For the tilt property, ease out the first keyframe by pulling the lever. Then pull the lever of the second keyframe to ease it in. Then drag it down just a little bit to create this gap. We're doing this to create a bounce animation in a second. Now select the last keyframe and copy it. Then move further in time and hit Ctrl plus V to paste it. Move further in time again and set the tilt property to 1 times 0. Then pull the levers of the last two keyframes to ease them out and in. Of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. Now you already have this beautiful bouncy animation. Next, we're gonna transition this text into a logo. But first I wanna tell you more about Storyblocks, where you can simply download thousands of pre-made professional video templates. For Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion, DaVinci Resolve, once it's downloaded, it automatically appears in the Essential Graphics panel. All you need to do is adjust some text and boom. Storyblocks curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place with over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more. You can download unlimited high quality assets for one predictable subscription cost, monthly or annual. You can say goodbye to all these expensive pay-per-clip pricing. Now, you can enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Storyblocks will always keep you legally covered and protected from copyright strikes and claims so that you can focus on actually creating. To get started, with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head to starblocks.com slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. And now, let's continue with our animation. All right, drag your logo somewhere in the timeline. Then in the toolbar, grab the rectangle tool. Go to the program monitor and draw a rectangle over your logo and try to match its size. Now in the essential graphics panel, scroll down a little and disable the fill color. Then enable the stroke. Make sure the stroke is set to white. Then increase the thickness until it matches the edge of your logo. Of course, don't forget to increase the curvature and there you go. Now you can further match Match the edge of your logo in the program monitor if that's needed. Next, with your graphic layer selected, grab the text tool and go to the program monitor. Then in here, type in PR. Then simply scale it until it matches approximately with the logo underneath. Nice, now you can move the original logo out of the way for just a moment. Now you can drag the graphic layer one track down. Then select your text layer and go to the effects controls. Set the playhead on the last keyframe of your tilt animation. Now go back to the timeline and find the VR rotate sphere effect again. Then drag it on your graphic layer. With that layer selected, head back to the effect controls. In here, set the tilt property to a little over zero and then set a keyframe. Now move a little back in time and set the tilt to minus one times zero. Then to make it smoother, expand the velocity curves and pull both levers again to ease the animation out and in. Now when you move further in time, set the tilt back to zero. This will create another keyframe and a bouncy end animation. The only thing we now need to fix is the transition between the text and logo. To do that, move the player to the middle of the merging animation. Then right click the effects button on your clip and choose opacity. Do the same thing for the other clip as well. Now hold down control on your keyboard and click on both clips to set an opacity keyframe. Now move further in time and set another keyframe on both the clips. Now drag the first keyframe of the logo down to make it appear. Then drag the last keyframe 
keyframe of the text layer down so that it will disappear. Perfect. Now it's time to transition our graphic layer into the real logo. To do that, drag the logo back on top of your clips. Then in the effects library, find the basic 3D effect and drag it on both your fake logo and on the original logo as well. Now with the graphic layer selected, go to the effect controls and set the playhead to the moment a little after the first animation we created. Then in the basic 3D effect, set a swivel keyframe. Now move further in time and set the swivel property to minus 90. Now expand the velocity curves again and pull the first lever so the animation will start smoothly. Then leave the playhead where it is right now. That's really important. Go back to the timeline and select the real logo. Then go back to the effect controls and set the swivel to 90. Then set a keyframe. This is why you needed to leave the playhead where it was. Now go further in time and set the swivel property to zero. Expand the velocity curves again and pull the lever of the second keyframe to make the animation smoother. This animation looks amazing, but now it's time to become a better video editor with these editing tricks right here. Thank you guys so much for watching.